Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K-E-S-H-W-A-N-I, Keshwani. We are here because we want to learn how to solve algebra word problems. Today we'll do problem number 137. Problem, as you can see, is already on the blackboard. Let's take a look at it. After we have read the problems, to, after we have read the problem together, at that point, if you wish to solve the problem yourself first, it's a good idea. Pause the video, solve the problem yourself, and then once you have done so, then resume the video and then compare your work against the work that you and I will do together in a few seconds' time. Do you understand? Let's read the problem first. We are told that A and B, A and B begin a game with equal amount of money. When B has lost three seventh, when B has lost three seventh of what he began with, at that point we are told that A had won seven dollars more, seven dollars more than half of what B, what half of what B has left. Whatever money that B has left at that point. A had won seven dollars more than half of that amount. Question simply is, what did they start out with? What amounts did they start out with? I'll give you a few seconds, I'll give you five seconds for you to be able to pause and unpause the video. Do the problem yourself first. All right, so we have two people, A and B. Let's deal with B first here. Right here is Mr. B. Right here is Mr. A. The key here is to go slowly and logically. As long as you're logical, rational in your thinking, you're fine. That's what algebra is all about. It teaches you how to think logically. So let's 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 pretend that B starts out with X dollars and X uh, A starts out with X dollars. This is the amount that they begin with. As you can see, they, they start out with equal amount of money, X dollars and X dollars. A and B begin the game with equal amount of money. Then what happens? We are told that by the time B had lost 3 7th of what he began with, so B is going to lose. How much is he going to lose? He's going to lose 3 7th of what he started out with. 3 3 7th of what he started out with. Well, if he, if he loses 3 7th of the amount, and if you don't like the way I wrote it here, you can write it like this. If you want to look, look at 3 7th separately, right here. 3 7th of the amount that he that he started out with, he started out with X dollars. By the time he has lost three seventh of the amount, obviously if he has lost three seventh of the amount, at that point in the game, what is what is what it implies is that if he has lost three seventh, then at that point of the game he must have had four seventh of the amount that he started out with. Which is logical. At that point in the game we are told that A had won seven dollars more than half of what B had left. But the amount of money that B has left, the amount of money that B has left is right here, 4 7. And we have to take, and we are told that if you take a half of that amount, half of this amount, half of this amount right here, which is 4 7 times x. If you were to take the half of that amount, is this the amount that A has won? No. We are told that at that point A had won how much? We are not told that A had won half of what B had left. We are told A has won seven dollars more than half of what B has left. Amount of money that B has left is this one. Half of that amount is this one, and seven and, and A at that point has won seven dollars more than that. So we have to add seven to it. You with me? This is it. That's all there is. Let's find out. Let's find out. What, let's find out what that gives us. Let's find out what, what that gives us, okay? And watch what happens. So, well, I'm going to use a different color so you can see it here. We have a 2 here, we have a 4 here. Let's divide top and bottom by 2. Are you with me? So we have 1 times 2, which is just 2. So we have 2x over 7. 2x over 7 plus 7. This, is, this, represents, this represents the amount of money, amount of money that... A has won amount of money that A has won. The question is how are we going to get an equation out of this one? The answer is very simple. 
the amount of money that A has won, this is the amount of money that A has won by definition because there are only two people in the game, the amount of money that A has won must equal the amount of money that B has lost. And the amount of money that B has lost is right here. The amount of money that B has lost must equal the amount of money that A has won. And that's where we're going to get our equation. Let's put it on the top. I hope you are with me in this, in, in this story so far. How much money has A lost? We are told that A has lost 3 seventh of what he started out with. So rather, rather B, this, the amount of money, let's, let's actually put it on the top so we know where it's coming from. Amount of money that B has lost by definition has to equal the amount of money that A has won, obviously. Obviously. Why do I say obviously? Why do we say obviously? Because it's a tautology. It's a tautology. I don't want to turn this into a vocabulary lesson and I don't have my index card with me here so I cannot tell you when we learned the word but we have learned about tautology in our vocabulary lessons. We learned what tautology means. Tautology means something that is true by definition. It doesn't need any proving. It is true by definition that if there are, if there are only two people playing the game then all then whatever money that one person has lost must equal the amount of money the second person has won. Do you understand? Because it's a zero-sum game. There's only two people there. So let's do that. So how much money has, amount of money that B has lost is right here. Three-seventh of what he started out with. This is how much he has lost. Three-seventh of what he started out with. And that amount has to equal the amount of money that A has won, which is seven dollars more than half of what B has lost. Half of what B has lost is four seventh x. Four seventh x. Seven dollars more than half of what B has lost. B must, B must have lost four seventh of the amount that he started out with. How do we know that? Because, no not lost rather, but the amount of money that he has left. Seven dollars more than half of what he has left. Sorry, this is this is half of what he has left. This is the amount B has left. The amount B has left. I keep mixing up the two words. This is the amount of money that B has left. How do we know that this is the amount of money B has left? Because this is how much he has lost. If he has lost three seventh of what he started out with, then he must have had at that point in the game four seventh of what he started out with because he has lost three seventh. And we are told that amount of money that A has won is seven dollars more than half of what B has left. That's what it is. Let's begin the story. Enough of the talk, okay? I'm going to erase all of this thing because we need the room. We're going to start our story. First thing first, we're going to do the same simplification that we did here over there because I happen to rewrite it, the whole thing. So let's simplify it first. So this two here, there's four there, let's divide top and bottom by two, we end up with two. So we're going to end up with two seven. And this is very simple. This is simply 3x over 7 has to equal 7 plus, and this turns out to be 2x over 7. 2x over 7. Well, this is actually far simpler than I actually thought it would be. This is actually quite straightforward. This is actually quite straightforward. We need the room, so we're going to erase this thing. This 7 that you see there, this 7 that we see there, if I have the room, well, this 7 that we see has a denominator of 1. This one has a denominator of 7. This one has a denominator of 7. How can we make the denominator of 7 here? This is 7 over 1. We want a denominator of 7, so multiply that by 7 over 7. So that makes it easy. 2x plus 7. Actually, this is far simpler than I thought it would be. Now, everything has a denominator of 7. The 7 plays no role. We can just ignore it. So we end up with 3x equals 7 times 7, which is 49, plus 2x. Subtract the two x from both sides and x equals 49. x equals 49. They must have started out with, they must have started out with $49 each. As always, we're going to take two seconds to actually confirm our answer, make sure that we have not made a boo-boo. We're going to verify it. What can we verify? Let's verify it right here. Let's verify it right here. So here is our B. Here is our A, 
And what we are claiming is that, that they both started out with $49 in their pocket. $49 for B, $49 for A. And what happens? We are told that he, B, loses 3 seventh of the amount, 3 seventh of 49. This is how much he loses. We have a 7 on the bottom, we have 49 on the top, let's divide top and bottom by 7, we end up with 7 times 3. In other words, B loses $21. B loses $21. If B loses $21, then A must have won $21. A must have won $21. But we are told, I'm going to try to squeeze here, we are told that what A has won is 7 more than half of what B has left. I'm not going to make the same mistake again. So let's see how much he has left. 9 minus 1 is 8. 4 minus 2 is 2. Half of 28. This is the amount of money at this stage in the game. The amount of money that B has left is $28. And we are told that A has won $7 more than half of what B has left. Half of what B has left is 14 14 Half of what B has left, which is $28, half of 28 is 14, so 7 plus 14 is $21. In other words, A, in other words, A has won $21 because B has lost $21 right here. You see, I'm going to put it in a red, red marker, you can see it. B has lost $21 and A has won $21. It makes perfect sense. It makes perfect sense. Our answer is correct because whatever B has lost which is three seventh of the money that he started out with and three seventh of forty nine dollars which is found out is twenty one dollars that amount has to equal seven more than half of what B had left well if he has lost twenty one dollars he must have had left twenty eight dollars at that point in the game that, at that stage in the game he must have had twenty eight dollars in his pocket still half of twenty eight is fourteen seven more than that is twenty one which makes perfect sense. What we are saying is that at this stage in the game, A has won $21 because B has lost $21. Bye now.